Hi, everyone. This is, uh, my name is Zhu Huang from ETL Zurich. In this presentation, I will be introducing our paper titled Deep Learning on Lead Groups for Skeleton-Based Action Recognition. Over the past few years, the body post estimation have made a great success uh, because of the availability of the low-cost depth sensors and 3D body post estimation algorithm like the CUPR 2011 work, which proposed a real-time system to estimate the body, 3D body positions. The great success of the 3D body position algorithm make more and more researchers working for skeleton-based action recognition. In this work, we developed a manifold based network named LeanNet to deeply learn lead group representations for robust action recognition based on 3D skeletal data of human movement. Here is the demo of the proposed LeanNet model on the NTU RGB data set released by the CPR 2016 work. As we can see, our proposed uh, LeanNet methods can predict the right action levels with high accuracy. For representing 3D human skeletons, these two CPR works uh, suggested a lead group representation. In particular, they proposed uh, rotation to use rotation metry to encode relative geometry between any pair of body bones. As a result, the feature of a moving skeleton becomes a curve on the productive group. There are two motivations for this work. The first one is to address speed variation issue. The commonly used the dynamic warp time warping system not only costs additional time, but also is relatively complex to step systems. The other motivation is lead group representations tend to be extremely high dimensional. Uh, extreme methods typ typically adopt PCA-like techniques that are shallow linear learning system. To address such two issues simultaneously, our work developed a new natural model to deeply learn lead group representations for skeleton-based action learning. In particular, uh, rotation mapping layers are devised to transform the input rotation matrix to new ones which are like better in both spatial and temporal domains. Besides, the rotation pooling layer are designed to assemble the resulting rotation matrix uh, to non to, uh, non forms such that uh, uh, the dimensionality can be reduced. As the rotation matrix reside on non Euclidean manifold, we devise a log algorithm map layer to, de to, to convert the rotation matrix to Euclidean form so that any regular output layers, such as uh, fully connected layer and, uh, and soft black layers, can be applied. For understanding the LeanNet model more clearly, uh, please see the upper right demo showing the reconstruction of each LeanNet layer. Here are some results for the three used uh, 3D action recognition datasets. For the first two datasets, we can see our LeanNet can reach the state of the art. For the third dataset, our LeanNet can be comparable with the standard OSTM and uh, we also saw some reconstructions of different LeanNet layers for four action sequences. As we can see, the patterns of specific motion classes become more discriminative when arriving at the output layer. Thank you, and welcome to our poster for more details.